Hey, this is Generation of BMX, and today I'm here to do a review. My favorite of all time, cranks, um, the Redline Flight cranks, um, the Redline three-piece um, cranks that they are still making that is exactly like they were back in the 80s. And uh, I'm really happy with these cranks, so I got another set to go on one of my riders. I'm going to put it on my 2017 um, red flat band master. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to take it out of the packaging here. And they always come in this uh, red line flight cranks box here. And here's the 19 millimeter spindle. And it's not the um, spline drive crank spindle that you see so much of today. I don't like those very much because they're a pain to put on and take off. You always um, need to use the crank tool, or not necessarily always, but to make it easy, you got to use the crank tool. It's still a pain in the neck. With these, all you got to do is push it into the sleeve and in the bottom bracket, and the arms fit right over that much easier to take on and off. Here's the crank arms. I got 175 millimeter in chrome. And there's the drive side arm. And uh, that finish is just beautiful. Red line, 175 millimeter crank. And it comes with obviously the spindle bolts. Pretty much straightforward set of cranks. But uh, these are these are. I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say these are my all-time favorite cranks. I've had a lot of different cranks before. I've obviously had the OPC one-piece cranks that came on the Haros back in the day, and I've got these Haro lineage cranks. That's in the style of the old Peregrine crank from back when they were put on these masters in the 80s. It's an okay crank. It don't look too much different than the Redline cranks, but they are spline drive. And as I mentioned earlier, those are a pain in the neck to take, to take off and to put on. And then here on my 2017 Neon Yellow Hara Master, I have the Redline flight cranks in black. I know it's kind of hard to see them in this room. But um, they're the black cranks, just like these, except they're black. And I had a set of chrome um, new Redline flight cranks on my 1987 Master that you may have seen in, in my videos where I did a uh, Redline flight crank installation how-to. I've had the Horror Group 1 cranks from 85, 86, the real expensive three-piece cranks. They're 900 bucks, easily for sale. I bought them for about 800, sold them for 800. So I've had the group ones. I had the 1989 Hara Fusion Cranks that went on the 1989 Hara Master. I've had the KHE Hindenburg Crank that came out on the 2007 KHE Flatland Bikes. And I've had uh, Sunday Saker. And I've had Shadow Killer cranks, all new school cranks, but still, like I said, I still like these the best. And uh, so I'm going to put them on my next build. And this next build may be my last build ever, if not one of the last build, because I'm going to start concentrating on learning new tricks instead of building so many bikes. So, um, yeah, they're still making these cranks. They're really nice. They look just like they did back in the day. They're made in Taiwan. And uh, if you should choose to buy these cranks, I think you'll be very happy with them. So stay tuned. I got some, uh, I'm going to do a bike check here on this 2018 Haro Sport. They only made 150 of these in the black. So I'm going to do a bike check on that. And uh, maybe on this next build that these cranks go on, the 2017 Red Haro Flatland Master. Um, this one is the neon yellow 2017 master but it's got a 19 and a half inch top tube 
the red one that I got coming is a 19 inch top tube and they only made 50 of those and I've got one of them coming. I'm gonna build it up and maybe I can do a uh, bike, bike check or a build, on, a build video on that. So thank you for checking in my videos and um, I hope you got something out of this. Have any questions about these things or the Horror Masters, leave them in my comments down at the bottom and I'll get back with you. Take care, gang.